This is Bryson. Bryson is a buff Orpington who looks a little ratty right now because he's molting. No, I don't need you. Get down. Bryson has a problem that we're going to fix today. Hi, Norma. Okay. Bryson has what's known as parrot beak. His beak is overgrown. So we're going to fix this because it's a problem if we don't take care of it. Hey y'all, I'm Renee and welcome to Tater Town. Like I said in the intro, Bryson is, you're being a little feisty. He is a very good rooster. He does his job very well and he is a sweetheart when he's sitting on my lap. The thing is, he has what is known as parrot beak, which means the top beak overgrows the bottom beak, the lower beak. And if you have a chicken that has this, you really have to take care of it regularly because it can interfere with them drinking um, more so eating than drinking, but definitely getting food. They have a hard time picking up pieces of food. A chicken can starve to death if you don't trim their beak. Now we're not talking about de-beaking, which is what factory farm and industrial agriculture does to prevent chickens from hurting each other. They cut their beaks back and that is very painful. But just like your fingernails or clipping a dog's toenails, there is a quick in their beak. You can see that it changes colors and it's a little pinker and then it's very white here. So if you just slowly and carefully trim the beak, you want it to be just in line with the lower beak. And the reasons for things like this are many. I think his is genetic because he does wipe his beak like most chickens do. And there's a lot of concrete and rocks for him to scrape his beak on. So he should be keeping it down. He is the only chicken I have with this problem. It could be a vitamin deficiency. So you do want to figure out what it is, but he is in general, a very healthy chicken. And for whatever reason, his beak grows really fast. So I do need to trim his beak at least once a month, uh, maybe once every month and a half. So we're gonna do this real quick. Norma, you're kind of in the way, but you can keep him coming. This is Bryson's top hen, and she's such a sweetheart. We're we gonna do this. I use, I have two things when I do this. I have dog clippers with a guard on it, just to make sure I don't go too far, and then an emery board or nail file so that I can file it down, because it does tend to be a little sharp. We're we gonna do this, buddy going to do this. I usually like to put my finger in between the top and lower beak to hold it open so I can get a good cut on it, but I'm going to do it without that. I'll still get a good cut. I just prefer to do it the other way. Hi, buddy. And don't be, don't be. He's usually really good, but he's probably going to prove me wrong today, aren't you? Ready? Oh, oh, oh. Ready? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Buddy, 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 buddy. Come on, let's do this. Let's do this. So I got a little bit off. We're going to do a little more. I'm going to reposition him. Come here, sweetheart. Come on. Lil. Of course. There we go. See, that's much better. And we can see after. It's still, I'd still like to get a little shorter. I'm just going to file it down so it's not too sharp. He's so good. He'd be better if I had a towel around him and if I had somebody <laughs> helping me. You're doing so good. You're going, doing good. Maybe some safety glasses, because <laughs> he may pick. He's actually really, really good. He lets me do a lot. But if you have trouble holding them, a towel wrapped around them and around their head would be helpful just to keep them calm. But that's how quick and easy it is. I would recommend if you're gonna do this, if you don't go to a vet to have this done, which, you know, it's really not that difficult to do unless you have an unwieldy chicken that really just will not let you hold them. Just make sure you see that quick line, take a little off at a time, and if it does start bleeding, make sure you have some styptic powder or some cornstarch or clot it. I use clot it and uh, put pressure on it and hold the powder on there until it stops bleeding. But again, this is not de-beaking. This is not painful. It can be just like if you cut your fingernail too short and it is necessary to make sure that they don't starve to death if they can't eat food with their beak being so long. Right, buddy? Right, beautiful boy? You're so sweet. That's much better, isn't it? 
Well, thank you all for hanging with me and Bryson today on Tater Town. We hope this helps if you have a bird that has parrot beak or an overgrown upper beak. And if you have any questions, please ask in the comments. Yeah, please ask them in the comments or if you have a uh, better way of doing it, let me know. I would love to hear about it. Now you're being good. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you can see more videos that will help you do those things you never thought you could.